Don't be stupid with your marketing. Hi, my name is Micah. I started a marketing company and today we're going to be talking about setting smart goals with your marketing campaign. This is your design brief. Welcome back guys. As I said, today we're going to be talking about setting smart goals for your marketing campaign. Now, when I say SMART, I'm actually referring to an acronym. And that acronym stands for the following. I'm talking about setting specific goals. I'm talking about setting measurable goals. I'm talking about setting attainable goals. I'm talking about setting relevant goals. And I'm talking about setting time-bound goals. S-M-A-R-T, SMART. Well, that's the video, let's go ahead and get out of here. I'm kidding, of course. Let's break that down just a little bit more, okay? Let's start with the S. Again, the S stands for specific. Now, when we're talking about marketing, marketing in its own definition is mass selling. It's about making a bottom line profit. So if your goal for your marketing is just to make money, you are very, very general in your goal. You have not specified anything. We could try to get this down a little bit further by maybe saying, I wanna see a 15 or a 20% increase in sales. And that's good, but that too could be made more specific. Uh, let's use the example for this video that we've been building upon that we're a skincare line called Glow Skincare. And we're trying to sell products to a different array of targeted audiences. We have a full product line. Well, one way we could get specific is by setting specific sales goals for a particular product or a particular product line. For instance, we could say maybe we have a anti-aging cream. The anti-aging cream is going to be for a targeted audience of 35 year olds or older. But let's say that that particular product, we need to see an increase in sales. Well, it would be more specific if we said we wanted to see a 15 or 20% increase in that specific product. That helps us with our marketing because we know what we're marketing. We know what the, the goal is and who the end user is. We've got a very specific target. It's going to be easy to track measurement bias. Speaking of, our second letter stood for measurable. We want all of our goals to be very specific, but also measurable. Now this kind of leads me to my definition for this video, industry standard definition, and that is KPI. KPI stands for Key Performance Indicators. For instance, we said we wanted to see an anti-aging cream for glow skin care to increase in sales between 15 and 20%. Well, there's a number of ways that we could potentially track that, that it could be measured. We could track that net sales in terms of revenue. We could track it in terms of units sold. For other products, or if you're doing a services, you could also take a look at a customer acquisition rate. If you're doing a subscription, you could see how many people are consistent customers as opposed to first time buyers. These are all measurable things, but when we're looking for a goal for our marketing, we want there to be a system in place that is very clear. If X happens, this is success. If Y happens, we need to adjust. All right. The third letter that I mentioned was attainable. Again, that was attainable. It's important to set high goals. We want to perform well but they also need to be realistic goals. If we're looking at our anti-aging cream and we're saying that we want the sales to increase 15 to 20%, but in the last three years, we haven't seen that much growth, that does beg the question, is this a realistic goal? Now, obviously there's a lot of issues if we haven't seen that much growth in three years, but the point can still be made. Don't be setting outlandish goals, either by the standard of your own company's history or the industry that you're in. And keep in mind, attainable is taking into account 
a multitude of factors. We're not just looking at necessarily the goals that are set, we're also looking at the resources that we have. If you're wanting to see massive changes in terms of sales and acquisition and brand awareness, then there needs to be a budget and a time frame that complements that goal. If you don't have the budget for it, then it's not attainable. If you don't have the time for it, it's not attainable. So there needs to be a proper balance between time, quality, and value in the work that you're doing. The fourth letter we're gonna talk about is relevant. Now, by relevant, I wanna be clear here. I don't mean trendy. I don't mean you need to go after the latest design trends. Why? Well, because good marketing should be leading those trends to begin with. I'm talking about relevant to your audience, to your company, to your industry. Your products need to be geared towards the proper audience. Your marketing needs to be geared towards that targeted audience. And the voice, the design, and the way that you advertise should reflect the values of the company that you're working for or with. Building upon our example, if I were to try to sell anti-aging cream to a demographic of 18 to 25 year olds, that would be completely inappropriate. Why? Because an 18 year old more than likely is not going to need a wrinkle cream on their face. If I'm selling it to someone that's in their 40s or 50s, I have a much better chance of being relevant for what I'm trying to sell. The last letter I want to mention is time bound. This is what makes your marketing campaign professional. Give it a deadline. And I would say this, be time bound in two ways. Set an ultimate goal. For our example, that may be a six month goal, but also set short term milestone goals as well. If you've got a six month goal, check in every month. See if there's a month in particular that you're underachieving. Marketing happens in dog years, and what works today, like I always said, is not guaranteed to work tomorrow, especially in today's climate. You never know whatever social media platform you're advertising on or social platform may have a complete overhaul, may completely change their algorithm. And what that means for you is that you have to be flexible and adjust along with your time frame to ensure that you're staying not only relevant, but that you're staying on track for the goals that you're trying to achieve. There you have it guys, SMART goals. This was sort of a short and sweet video, but starting with the next video, we're gonna start getting out of the strategizing phase and more into the action phase of a marketing campaign. So make sure that you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for what I have next week. I will make sure we got more good quality content coming your way. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you have a great week. I'll see you next time.